Oh, definitely. BRICS stands out as one of the most uh, representative uh, international groups uh, uniting uh, a lot of countries in the global south. Uh, it is uh, quite diverse uh, and uh, it uh, can claim a special role uh, in the international system and this role is likely to, uh, uh, to, uh, to grow in the foreseeable future. Uh, definitely uh, BRICS uh, can uh, uh, work uh, on specific mechanisms that would challenge the Western monopoly over major decisions, especially uh, in the global finance, uh, in the global trade, but also in global security. And this is exactly what makes uh, the BRICS uh, so attractive uh, to potential members, uh, because they feel that they are underrepresented uh, in the international system, uh, and they want uh, to get uh, their voice uh, heard, uh, if not listened to. And uh, this is uh, what they discuss in Kazan, uh, and I hope that that will be uh, reflected uh, uh, in the so-called uh, Kazan Declaration that is going to be uh, adopted uh, by the end of the summit. When it was created in 2009 and then joined by South Africa in 2010, the idea was mostly to reinforce collectively the bargaining power of the constituent countries, uh, their voice in the uh, inevitable uh, reformulation, reorganization of uh, multilateral institutions. And it worked well uh, in the sense that uh, all the countries of the BRICS countries managed to obtain a higher share of capital of the World Bank, for instance, as well as a higher share of, of the quotas at the IMF. But at the same time, the process showed a certain limit to how far that would go. And then they decided to create their own institutions, uh, the, the New Development Bank. Uh, there is also a currency uh, sharing arrangement uh, that is not a substitute to the IMF, but it, is, it's, it, it adds to other forms of cooperation among countries uh, sharing reserves.